Happy TGIWF, Facebook family and friends. It is a glorious Friday here on the Cape. If you are on Cape Cod, I hope that you have spent some time outside. And if you are not, then we are sharing today's glorious weather with you. Today is a squirrely Friday. We are excited to share a squirrel release with you. So we apologize for our lateness, but if any of you have ever tried to wrangle a squirrel, you know that they are not as wrangleable as you want them to be. <laughs> So my name is Rebecca Banas. I am the Director of Outreach, Marketing, and Events for Wild Care, and I am very excited to um, share this release with you with our Animal Care Coordinator, Jennifer Taylor, and one of our volunteers, Michaela. So in a second, I'm going to flip the camera around. You're going to see us put a nesting box up in a tree with some squirrels in it, and hopefully, fingers crossed, um, one of our little friends is going to pop their heads out so you can see them. But we did want to share with you sort of how this goes once they've gone through our clinic. Um, and been rehabbed sort of what happens once they get back out into the wild and you will see when I flip the camera around these guys are being reintroduced to a wonderful oasis in Harwich um, bird feeders close by and all so these are some lucky lucky guys and I'm going to turn this over to Jennifer so she can share a little bit about our squirrel friends and what's gonna happen next hello this is Jennifer <laughs> um, I'll take my mask off for yep. this bit. Um, okay, so we are going to release group eight in their nest box. Um, can, you, can you show them the nest box, Rebecca? This is the box that they have been in for several weeks. They've grown up using this box as their home base. Um, we have stuffed a towel in to capture them. Like Rebecca said, they weren't easy to get today. We almost <laughs> didn't make it here on time. Um, but. We got them in, actually there were just four, and there was just one one that had a, a walnut and did not want to go back in. And <laughs> then one of the ones that was inside didn't want him to go back in. So it was, um, I had to get Rachel to help me. Uh, anyway, so this is the box, and this is the tree. So we are going to get it up there, and um, I'm using some heavy copper electrical wire because as you can see here, this is an older box, and, and the squirrels have chewed this box. This might be the last time we use a box, this box here. Um, but normally we might hang them with nails here or put the wire through that. We're going to do it a little bit differently. And this is the first time I've ever done this on camera. So if I'm in an awkward <laughs> position, I might ask Rebecca to, to, to talk about something else. But I do have a plan. And um, Michaela here, she's this nice volunteer who is, uh, has volunteered her, her space to um, let us do this. And she does some wonderful uh, bird feeder activity in her, in her yard. So I think that they'll be safe. We got four little squirrels in here. They're about 11 weeks old, 11, 12 weeks old. Uh, they are nasty and don't like us anymore. <laughs> and it's time for them to go. And we're really lucky, you know, climate change is kind of freaky, but it's nice that there is nice weather for them to come out with. There's lots of acorns. We've got a beautiful oak tree here. I've got the usual food that they're used to for a while. Um, Michaela will be giving that to them. And uh, so we'll try to see if this is going to work. Okay. <laughs> and away we go. And away we go. All right. And I've got the... So we, we usually duct tape it all the way around. And there's air holes in the bottom. We make these, we make these boxes so that we can make sure that we can provide air when we do this part of it. So that was already cleared out with, with sticks because they have made their nests in here with um, some leaves and their outside, their outside stuff. Megan Koffer, Koffer, I'm not sure how you say it. it, says you're a brave lady, Jennifer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're very lucky to have her, everyone. Vines can be an asset. They're a nice, 
camouflage. This is pretty exciting, you guys. I've actually never been a part of a squirrel release. I've rescued and delivered, but never seen the other side of it. So, <laughs> this is the most exciting part. Everybody made it. Okay, from this side. <laughs> what if we just leave sort of the ladder where it is and, and pull down the extension? Well, that's, yeah, we'll, we'll take okay. it out from underneath it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, I'm going to back up and give you guys a little space. You can take this away for a minute. I'm going to get something to brace the ladder with. Okay. Right back. So this is where you get me back for a few minutes and I'm gonna remind you that Wild Care lives and dies by your donations. So that means these guys do too. Um, we do not receive any federal funding. So really we save all of our wild neighbors due to your generosity. So these guys were saved because we got things from our Amazon wish list that you guys bought and sent to us. You donated to our baby shower, to our Thankful Thursday campaign, to our Grateful Tuesday events that we've done and more. We will be doing a lot more fundraising between now and the end of the year so we like to tell you that every five dollars absolutely helps us save a life and that is a fact. I can tell you that um, no matter what donation you want to give every little teeny bit helps and if you don't have extra dollars that you want to give but you do have extra hours Wild Care is always looking for people to help us out on our grounds and our clinics um, in the spring, we have a huge, huge influx of baby birds, and we always need help um, feeding a lot of very hungry, tiny little mouths. So if you'd prefer to give us your time as opposed to making a donation, you can go right on our website. That website is wildcarecapecod.org. And at the top of that page, there's a big, huge button that says volunteer or donate now. So you can choose the one that works best for you. And again, every donation helps us. It all absolutely goes into one big fabulous pot so that we can save more and more lives. So in just a second, I am gonna turn this back over to Jennifer and we're gonna try to get the towel um, off of the front of this nesting box. And hopefully, again, fingers crossed, cause squirrels are squirrely. 
<laughs> we are hoping that they will at least peek out and make a little bit of an entrance. So, but I did want to show you really quickly. This is all of the wonderful, glorious area that they're going to have. Bird feeders nearby. Bird baths nearby, just in case. But there's a ton of coverage here, so these guys should be nice and safe for a while. And there's okay. a lake down at the end of the street. Lake at the end of the street. Awesome. Squirrel heaven. Okay. <laughs> All right, so if you like this old house, <laughs> we have now got our ladder secured. Nice. Okay, and the cable's going to stop on the, step on the bottom, and I'll go up and pick here. to really do anything, but I'm going to presume that they're going to jump out and, and land on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to have that in mind. Okay, so, um, Michaela, you can close your eyes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay, they're going to come out. Okay. We're going to give you some space. Right. One, two, three. Come down slowly. So far, you are all clear. So, what we're going to do is gently take the ladder away and we will Go back. And you can just see if they peek out. Is that will be doable. So if you're just tuning in, we have just put a fun group of rehabbed patients into this wonderful nesting box in Harwich. So we're hoping that these guys will pop their heads out and make a quick little thank you appearance, but Really the exciting part about this is that these guys have survived, they've been rehabbed and they are being re-released back out into the environment where they belong. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so good one. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna So as you guys can see, squirrels are very fast. <laughs> But I have a feeling they're going to acclimate very, very quickly. So we are going to actually leave them in peace at this point because we do not want to stress them out. That is the opposite of what we're supposed to do. So I'm just going to thank you very quickly. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Um, I hope I hope that you are very, very, very kind to your wild neighbors. I really appreciate you joining us today. And again, if you have a little extra, you can help us save, whoop, I just had another one scurry behind me. So it seems like they are ready to explore their new home. So we are going to get right out of the way and let them acclimate to their surroundings. Thank you again for joining us. Have a wonderful, wonderful, hopefully full of wildlife weekend. We really appreciate you. Thank you all for the support and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye everyone.